You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cause you saying? Uh I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Uh, please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Greatest being in the universe, and that is why you you must you must die by my hand. You fool! What? No. Curse him! Curse that wretched Saiyan! The mortal enemies known as Frieza and Goku had once fought to the death on the planet Namek. During their epic showdown, Goku's anger triggered something. It awakened the Super Saiyan transformation, which helped him defeat the terrible tyrant Frieza. With Goku having defeated Frieza, it was believed the two fighters would never again cross one another's paths. But that was not the case. Having been brought back to life with the use of Earth's Dragon Balls, Frieza lived once again. He now sought vengeance against the Saiyan who'd humiliated him. Determined to exact his revenge, Frieza gathered his forces, also brought back using the Dragon Balls, and set out to accomplish his new mission. In preparation for the battle, Frieza subjected himself to intense training and attained immense power. Mere moments before the Frieza Force were to arrive on Earth. <laughs> the time for vengeance has finally arrived. Now then, let's pay Goku's beloved Earth a visit, shall we? Goku and Vegeta continue their own intense training under the watchful eyes of Whis on Beerus's planet. The two warriors are eager to push the Super Saiyan God form to even greater heights. I believe that will do for today. I must say, you two have made considerable progress with respect to movement, but your speed still needs work. <laughs> still needs work. You're still relying far too much on your head. This habit is especially strong with you, Vegeta. <laughs> you really do like to overthink everything, Vegeta. Shut up! You're only thinking less because you're an idiot! Perhaps you've noticed, but you always manage to be one step behind Goku. Do you know why that is? You're far too tense, making it more difficult for you to fight at your full potential. You need to relax more, like Goku. You just had to bring that up, didn't you? Goku, you, on the other hand, are overconfident. Let your focus waver and you're doomed to fail. What? We'll work on conquering these shortcomings of yours as we continue your training. All right, just gotta focus. Focus, focus, focus. Well, I think that's enough rest for now, wouldn't you agree? Shall we continue your training? Yeah! As the two of you have unique needs in your training, what do you say we do this one at a time? You got it! You know, I actually prefer doing it this way. <laughs> you won't get any complaints from me! Oh my, you two really don't get along, do you? I can't imagine why that is. Now then, 
Let's start things off with you, Goku. Woohoo! Too bad for you, Vegeta. <laughs> Makes no difference. Go ahead, I'm gonna surpass you anyway. This is awesome! I'm gonna get loads stronger! Very well. Shall we begin your training? I should warn you that the difficulty of your training will ramp up significantly. <laughs> You're only making me more excited! <laughs> Marvelous. This is the regimen I've prepared for you. Goku, I expected no less from you. You know, I don't really feel like I've gotten that much stronger. I bet Lord Beerus could still kick my butt. Indeed, you're far from ready to best him. However, if you were to push the godly power you've attained even further, you could increase your odds. Seriously? You're gonna teach me how I can do that, right, Whis? I am indeed. I really admire your positive attitude. Perhaps that is the true source of your power. <laughs> Once you're ready, willing, and able to resume your training, please do come find me immediately. Okay, will do, Whis. <laughs> Are you ready to begin your training? Don't become overconfident and don't give your opponent no. There are no also ones to be the face of disaster. Be aware of your surroundings. Your technique has improved since last time. The pace at which you're learning is impressive, Goku. <laughs> Got you and your training to thank you, please. What do you do with this? Don't let your guard down. Your movements are clean, and you appear to be focused. Interesting. Let's see if you can maintain this until the very end. I'm impressed with your performance, Goku. You seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. Yeah, I think I can figure out the rest on my own. Thanks, Whis! On to the next task. Now we need to ensure that we can bring Vegeta up to your level. After all, it's absolutely paramount that both of you increase your strength and power right now. Right, couldn't agree more. And I think Vegeta's gonna be just fine. He'll probably master this new power in no time. He's just that good, you know? I'm sick and tired of you. It's finally your turn. After Whis's training, I'll be number one. Right, now let's get started. 
Mark my words. My days living in Kakarot's shadow are over. <laughs> this is the regimen I prepared for you. Wonderful, isn't it? Now then, let's have you break through the walls for the time. Try to imagine yourself capable of far more than you are now. Your training won't end unless you truly fight with the intention to defeat me. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Your movements are clean, and you appear to be focused. Interesting. Let's see if you can maintain this until the very end. Good. Let's end things here for now. Even with all the power I have, you still aren't struggling. Well done, Vegeta. Color me impressed. You call yourself a genius, and I dare say it's not mere hubris. <laughs> I still haven't reached yours or Lord Beerus's level. I won't be satisfied until I do. You always have your nerves wound up in a bunch. This tension will prevent you from acting when you need to most. Find a way to conquer this shortcoming, and you'll no doubt push your godly power even further than you thought possible. <laughs> Once you're ready to resume your training, please promise to come and find me immediately. Fine. I've got it. <laughs> Are you ready to begin your training? Your task will be to rely less on your mind and more on your body. Try not to be so tense. Relax and try to remain calm. Thinking of an action first and then performing it is too slow. Best to remember that. Feel your body and its movements. Allow them to guide you. I'm impressed with your performance, Vegeta. You seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. My goal is clearer than ever. All that remains now is to put this new power the two of you have attained to the test and see what you can really do. Goku and Vegeta, more determined than ever to push themselves even further, continued their training with Whis. In the end, the two Saiyans had managed to successfully achieve a wonderful and new power. You're both here. Excellent. Yep, let's get right into it while it's all still fresh in my mind. The time has come to find out if you've actually attained a power that goes beyond a god, Kakarot. <laughs> I very much look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor, gentlemen. This form takes a lot out of you, even more than Super Saiyan God. 
It's probably because we've become Super Saiyans while in our godlike state. Still, this power is incredible. Hmm. Look at that. Your efforts have finally paid off. Phew. Though, it looks like we can't stay in this form for very long. Which means we haven't completely mastered it yet. You two have really surprised me. I must admit, I wasn't expecting you to reach this level in such a short period of time. You know, I'm pretty surprised too, if I'm honest. I had no idea I could go beyond Super Saiyan God. <laughs> You're not the only one who pulled it off. Seems your days at the top might be numbered. Indeed. You two have both managed to become Super Saiyans with the power of Super Saiyan Gods. Hmm, that's a rather cumbersome way of putting it. Let's see, your hair becomes blue while in this form, so perhaps Super Saiyan Blue would be more suitable. Super Saiyan Blue, huh? That'll be easy to remember. Now that you've achieved this power, I think all that remains is to put said power to the test. I want you to engage me in battle using all of your power. Up for it? This should help you come to terms with your new form. All right, let's do this! Yeah! Magnificent! Well now, let's begin. <laughs> now, now, you two, this is certainly not the time to squabble. Than I expected. This is great. And it's getting the hang of it. We are just getting started. are phenomenal. It seems the Super Saiyan Blue form is becoming second nature to the pair of you. Should the two of you learn to work together, I dare say you could possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the likes of Lord Beerus. Whoa, really? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd much rather fight him by myself. <laughs> I'm the one taking Lord Beerus down, and I'll do it without your help. Oh, bother. This intense rivalry between you two is proving most troublesome. So, Whis, could you maybe train me some more? I really want to master this Super Saiyan Blue power. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. What? I'm not going to let you hog all of Whis's time. I'm training too! Uh, at least you two see eye to eye on something. Very well. Let's press onward, shall we? Meanwhile, on Earth, Gohan's calm, carefree life was interrupted when he was summoned by Piccolo to engage in some grueling training. <sighs> All right, take a breather. Whew, I haven't done anything this intense in a long time. You're a lot sloppier than before. Seems like these peaceful times have made you soft. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just, my mom keeps giving me a hard time about my studies. <laughs> huh, I don't care about your studies. You can't neglect your training. That's the one thing you should never skimp on. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll try to work some into my schedule when I can. We're getting right back into it after this break, and it won't be nearly as easy as... Huh? Huh? What was that? S some sinister energy is making its way here. It it can't be him, can it? Yeah, I know this energy all too well. It's definitely him. 
The large source of energy Gohan and Piccolo sensed belonged to none other than Frieza and his men. That's right, Frieza had finally made his arrival to the planet Earth. I've waited far too long for this moment. That said, it seems I have a little time to kill before Goku makes his arrival. Perhaps I should have some fun while I wait. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Gohan and Piccolo, they weren't the only ones who sensed the arrival of Frieza and his menacing troops. Krillin, Tien, and the others, sensing the sudden appearance of an evil energy, made their way to Gohan and Piccolo's location. A lot of energy levels are cropping up all over the place. They're on the move. Yeah, we better hurry after them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We'll have to split up and handle each group separately. Got it. Let's go. They're more powerful than we originally thought. Stay sharp. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so the fight with the Frieza Force had officially begun. Could overwhelm us. <laughs> <laughs> 